EA Sports. It's in the game. Hi, I'm Ben Hommiller. I'm Russ Kanari. And we're here with our first blog of NCAA Football 11, chilling with our man Jim Thorpe over here. Uh, kind of talking about some of the new things we're doing this year. This is going to be the first time that we're hitting you with some new information, some new features we're doing this year. Got a lot of great stuff going into the game this year. And more importantly, it's the stuff that you wanted to see. That's what our main focus has been this year, and you'll see that in the coming weeks and months. The new things that we're doing this year are really about you, the fan, and what you wanted to see in the game. Yeah, we've gone through you know, our, our forums, gathering feedback, our live chats, uh, reviews, you know, everywhere that we could possibly get information that the, you know, the NCAA fan, the player, wants to see in the game. And you know, that's kind of what we've gone out and attacked first when we were making the game and first what we're going to bring to you guys. Yeah, so every week you're going to see new things that we're doing as well as get a chance to meet some of us behind the scenes to help make this game and our true passion for college football and what makes us love this game and make this not really work for us, but a great time, you know, to, to put together a great game. It's going to be an exciting year. First on the list is, you know, uh, I think going to be probably the biggest one we talk about. Uh, it's the one I'm most excited for, yeah. <laughs> so go ahead, take it away. Oh, I get to be the good you guy. You get to be the one. good guy this time. This I'm time. Staying. For once in my <laughs> life, I get to break news that people want to hear. Formation subs. It's in? They're back. It's exciting. Outstanding. Uh, actually, I mean, no, in all seriousness, no, uh, formation subs is kind of one of the, the big things that even we've wanted in the mm -hmm. past. You know, it's uh, getting it in is, you know, the biggest example I think for me is I love running a two back system. I love getting both my running backs in. And the easiest way, you know, by far is getting in there and setting up different formations, you know, for my speed guy, my power guy, and kind of have them in one in I form, one in twins, and, you know, just mix it up. And me, uh, receivers, you know, run a lot of receivers in Dynasty. Want to get those young guys in the field a little bit, get them a little taste of the action. So you get a couple sets where you make sure you have them in there. So it's great to do two back quarterbacks, too. You got a speed guy, you know, dual threat guy. Yeah. And you got a pocket passer. A couple sets where you want to mix in some options, some where you want the drop back, so you can set that up in formation subs. I mean, everything you can do in formation subs, from setting your up back on your fake punt, so you got the right guy back in there. Uh, if you're looking to rush on the end to try and block a field goal and you want your speedy guy out there, go ahead and set that up. And what's really neat is that actually, uh, so it's going to be in-game, kind of mm -hmm. like it was back on, on uh, PS2 and Xbox, right, yeah. is uh, you'll be able to change it in-game for online games, any play now or stuff like that. But the really cool part is in Dynasty, you'll be able to, on the, and online Dynasty, yeah. you'll be able to actually go in, set it from the menu, go into game, and your formation subs will save throughout the entire year. So you can go in there and set it week one, preseason, or keep changing it every single week. And, and, and you're we'll, setting, you, know, you might need to go back and update it based on an injury, but yeah. for the most part, you can set it once and be done with it. So that's outstanding. So we did it that way. You know, it's not in the play call screen, so you're not burning down play clock to, to try and get your substitutions in there. Uh, you're able to set it up from the beginning and go from there. So the next thing we're going to talk about, autosave. Autosave is great. It, you know, it's actually one of those things that uh, I've noticed. You never, you never notice it when it's there, right. but when it's not there, like we, you know, had, you definitely notice it. So autosave basically being that, you know, whenever you're you know, in a dynasty, offline dynasty or your profile or anything, anytime anything changes, we'll basically save it for you. From settings to uh, when you've just finished a week, uh, you know, you've sent through a week or played through your game or Road to Glory, finished up your game, whatever you've done, uh, once it's completed, it will go ahead and automatically save that file for you. Uh, same thing with your profile, too. This is probably the biggest part of this. So yeah. trophies. Uh, how many times have you won a trophy in the past? You get your Emerald Bowl trophy. You're so proud of your, your seven and six season of the Emerald Bowl trophy. You know, Rusty's not very good. And so he gets that trophy and... Uh, I need my trophy. I gotta have him <laughs> save. So he wins this trophy. Finally, first trophy of his so life. Excited. Forgets to save his profile and he lost that thing yeah. forever. So now it'll automatically do that for you. And so those of you that play online Dynasty, like me, extensively, you're used to this already because that's how it does. Once you're done with the uh, back end of recruiting, it'll, it'll upload the changes. Once you finish your game, it'll save too. Now that's bringing it to the rest of the game, so you're totally set right there. You got everything done for you. Yeah, and then the last little bit is, you know, we added the option so that if you don't want auto save, you can, you know, turn it on and off uh, from the profile. Yeah. And then um, secondly, you know, re close related to auto save is actual the auto load of rosters. And I know Benjamin is a huge fan of this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you talk. I've been fighting for this one for a while now because <laughs> this has been something that's kind of killed me. Is that you go into a game mode, you start up a new dynasty, you back out, you want to start a road to glory. And we would reload the default rosters that came on this, not the roster file you had when you went into there. Say so you, you downloaded a roster file and you want to use that. So you get through high school and you road to glory. And oh yeah, I've, I've played four games of high school. Now the roster file that I have isn't what I thought it was, isn't what I wanted. Now I got to restart everything again. So what we're going to do is when you leave a mode and come back to the, to the front end main menu, you'll wind up getting the rosters you had going into that mode originally. So if you have a roster file you like to use, you'll always have that loaded. It's auto loads from the beginning. 
It'll, uh, once you boot up the game, it'll be there. When you come out of any mode, it'll always be there for you. And actually, also, on, on top of the uh, actual thing that came with auto-load rosters, when you download a new roster. Yes. So if you go and you search, you know, I like, I like the way Ben set up his rosters when I want to download. Uh, I download them, and again, in years past, we would just, after the download, you'd have the disc, you know, the disc rosters. Yeah, uh, and so, I mean, I can't tell you how many times friends of mine are like, I downloaded these rosters, but where are they? Yeah. I don't see them. You had to go and actually find them, load them, and now you have them ready to go. And every time you load up the game from then on forth, they would they would load up. But the first time, I want to check these things out. Now we got to load them up. Well, so, we canceled that for you. That's now <laughs> taken care of. As soon as you download a roster, boom, right there you go. So you can go straight from downloading a roster into any game mode, and you'll have the downloaded roster there. You no longer have to go through the extra step of loading them yourself. Yeah, so you get a chance to check them out immediately. It's cool stuff.